Hey guys, so we are right back out here today with Bella and Cash. Uh, we got a nice little break in the weather, so what we're gonna do is just a little outdoor lesson today. Um, just like with training, like we've talked about before, we need to make sure our dogs know that they have to listen no matter where they are or what's going on. Um, so since we have predominantly been working inside due to the weather, I wanted to make sure that we had at least a couple lessons outside. So today what I'm going to do um, is just kind of work them through everything that we've already worked on, except for now outside. Um, so we're just going to go through all their basic obedience. And again, we're just teaching them that they have to listen no matter what. Um, we've already gone through most of their... Bella! We've already gone through most of their basic obedience commands, so I'm going to try and run through just about all of them. Obviously, you might see them struggle a little bit more with it out here, but notice how even when they start to struggle, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to continue to recue them, and rather I'm going to try to use something else to get their attention, whether it be the treat and my lure, um, or my body movement, or something like that. So. I'm just going to go ahead back up a little bit here so you can see all of us. I do apologize if my head is kind of darting around and looking elsewhere. Um, we are outside and I'm trying to make sure that they don't see something and decide that they're going to take off. So um, I'm just going to back up here and uh, we'll get started. Cash. Bella. Bella. Yeah, take care of that. Okay guys, so one thing that I've been working on with these two especially is just an auto sit anytime they want something. Can you sit? Dang it, sit. Cash! Cash! No, sir. Come here. Dang it, sit. Sit. Yes, thank you. So as you've seen in some of the um, some of my previous videos, one of the things that these two really struggle with is just patience um, and being okay with just relaxing um, if we're not paying attention to them. So right now what I'm doing is just a little patience exercise with them outside now instead of being inside like you said. So they're all being very nice and very patient right now. So next what we're going to do is we're going to see it. Would you sit? Would you sit? Sit. So next what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get them to lay down. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Sit. Sorry, buddy. Sit down. Girl, good down. Good girl, good down. Cash, leave it. Leave it. Yes. Sit. Uh uh. Good boy. Lay. Sit. Nope. Okay guys, cruise. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Uh -uh. Good. Alright guys, so if I have a dog that's right here and I want them to kind of learn to settle onto their side. What I'm going to do is just take their treat and good. And you saw him kind of shift onto his hip. Sit. Stand. And we're going to do the same thing with Bella. Cruise. We're just going to get her to rotate onto. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good dog. Good 
Guys, so as you can see, it's going to be a feather day a little bit because it's a bit right now. So, the first and these bubbles will get a little bit more feather. Yeah, so we're in. I'm going to joke her that it's fine. It's going to sit in there and it's going to be fine with that. But it's not going to be fine with that. So, let's make sure that it's fine. So, this again. That's some good puppies. So again, all I'm doing is working on them staying close to me, moving when I move. Come on, y'all. Let's see. And then I'm very quickly going to reset. Just to give them the opportunity to take a nap. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. On that one, just because Bella has had the biggest issue out of all of them as far as not being able to move and constantly running away, um, I did go ahead and use the feather. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, let's go. Come on. Good dogs. Okay, so, oops, sorry, buddy. So, that's an exercise that I'm going to do with them in a lot of different locations, anywhere I can. Just work them through all of their basic obedience um, and work on those patience exercises. These two especially, they're very all go all the time. They want something to be doing all the time. So, we need to teach them that it's rewarding to not be doing anything as well. So, that's why I'm spending so much time working on their just patience and just being able to settle and just relax when I need them to. So that's just another quick little short lesson that I would do with them throughout the day. Probably try to get a few more outside here. Um, we did work a little bit yesterday at the park as well on their settling. So they're definitely getting better. Um, you know, it all takes time. So anyways, that concludes our little mini lesson for now and uh, we'll be back again later.